For the San Francisco 49ers, the dawn of a new millennium also marked the end of an era. Obviously, this is a tough decision, um, but I know that I've made the right one, and I really feel it in my heart. And so I retire from the great game of football today. I loved playing for the San Francisco 49ers. I am very proud of what we accomplished together here in the Bay Area. <laughs> and I'll miss the 49er faithful. And when I walk down the streets of San Francisco, we forged a relationship. And those are the best ones. Hey, what's up, bro? I miss you, man. I know. I miss you, too, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate everything, man. Goodbyes are never easy. As Steve Young stepped down, three 49er greats joined a new team in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I would like to introduce to you Ronald Mandel Wiley. Mr. Dave Wilcox. The very best of the best, Mr. Joe Montana. These heroes set the San Francisco standard. Now a new generation of Niners would be called on to uphold it. And we got to fight! Let's fight! Let's fight! Not it! One, two, three, nine. The 49ers entered the 2000 season with a league-high 19 first-year players. But one of the NFL's youngest teams was also its most explosive. Diamond Kajo! Leaping as far as Clark Kent when he puts the suit on. He did it again! You have to see this guy to believe it! The 49ers faced an uphill battle, but with each play and each game, this young team gained confidence. Blitz it. Just bring it. Call him up, tell him to bring it. <laughs> what a hit! That was a shot. <laughs> nice play, Rook. We learned how to win on the road. We learned how to win at home. And now we got to build on it. Winning four of the last six games, this team built on a legacy. Touchdown, Greg Clark! The miracle of the year! And lived up to the golden standard. From the first whistle of minicamp, head coach Steve Mariucci could see that this was going to be a different kind of season for San Francisco. Where'd that drill come from? Huh? Martial arts. Just don't stab anybody. To mend a team that won just four games in 1999, GM Bill Walsh in the front office brought fresh faces to camp through free agency and the NFL draft. It was up to Coach Mariucci and his staff to mold these young men into 49ers. Ah! Catch the ball. Everybody catches. Everybody, defensive linemen, managers, doctors, everybody catches. You, you must be a rookie. Will you complete every one of these? You, that's a penalty. You can't do that. What are you, nuts? Two minute drill. We gotta be the best in the league at this thing. Try to get out of bounds! He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Said, go, quick. Go. Quick, 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 quick. Go. Start fast. Go. Get out of there. Look for one. Look for one. Not there. Find two. Every time we do something, go through your progression. Jake, tuck it away. Every time. There you go. That's the difference between him making five yards and 12 yards. Here versus here. Put it where you want it. With each drill, each repetition, Hard work began to pay dividends. All right, good patience. That's good. That's good. We got to work on those little fundamentals, OK? Gives us a little extra step coming out of the break. That's what we need. Every day, we need one more inch. As the rigors of summer camp gave way to the trials of autumn, the 49ers displayed the talent to go the distance. Two receivers race. And Owens. Owens makes the catch on the left sideline. Flag on the play. He gives ground, trying to come the other way. Garcia is going to try to help him. He's got great room. He's at the 45. To the 40. He needs a block. He's at the 30. But for each step forward, they took a step back. Turns inside at the 10. Gets to the 5. Fumbles the ball. Into the end zone. It goes out of the end zone. Oh, my, oh, my. 
After three weeks, the team was winless for the first time since 1979. Bill Walsh's first season as head coach. With the future uncertain, the team turned to its rock-solid foundation. Against Dallas, San Francisco would rely on the offensive line that helped lead the league in rushing in 1998 and 99. Lineman Dave Fiore, Ray Brown, Derek Geese, Scott Gregg, Jeremy Newberry, tight end Greg Clark, and fullback Fred Beasley cleared a path for Pro Bowl running back Charlie Garner. Brown Chuck did the rest, setting a franchise record with 201 yards rushing and giving San Francisco an early lead. The one. Hits to the left side. Garner looking for the corner. He'll get in. Touchdown, San Francisco. So San Francisco has a touchdown in the lead at 9 to 3. Garner's groundbreaking day cleared the skies for San Francisco's air attack. And Garcia will throw to the end zone. Terrell Owens, leaping catch, right corner, fade pattern, touchdown. Quarterback Jeff Garcia threw four touchdown passes to break the game wide open. Garcia, after play fake, rolls to the right, now throws deep middle, all alone, Jerry Rice, he's got a touchdown, 20, 10, 5, 49ers score, Jerry Rice in one of his typical game day breakers. The 41 to 24 demolition of Dallas secured the 49ers' first victory of the season. By week five, it had been 13 months since San Francisco achieved back-to-back -back wins. JR, let's go to work, baby, let's go, come on, let's go! Against Arizona, Coach Mariucci and his men were eager to start a streak. Let it go, Jeff, let it go, let it go, Jeff, let it go. But winning with a young team takes patience and imaginative we leadership. We gotta put Jerry on the left side and see if Aeneas is gonna match with him over there. Garcia looking around, throws to the end zone, touchdown, Jerry Rice! Up to one, one, up to one! Jerry Rice turned the adjustment into a seven to nothing advantage. Nice adjustment, JR, nice job. Way to go, Jeff. Hey, way to go, baby, way to go. On special teams, the Cardinals unit was overmatched by San Francisco's coverage aces, John Keith and Jonas Lewis. And is brought down and fumbles the ball. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball! Cardinals and Niners fight for a loose ball at the 23-yard line. Fight for it. Dig it out. Fight for it. Who got it? You got it? Woo! Yeah. Ted Toll would be proud of you. Nice shot. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's put it in the end zone. Tie, tie, tie. Get their tie fast. Get their tie. Get their tie. Get their tie. <laughs> Did he catch it? Did he catch it? Did you catch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to go, They might be talking about a touchdown. Maybe they'll give you a touchdown. Relax a minute. Touchdown! The 49ers would need just one more yard. All right, here we go. Run it. First and goal at the one. Handoff. Garner walks into the end zone over left tackle. Touchdown. 49ers. How about that? For the first time in more than a year, San Francisco was on a roll. Two wins in a row, man, and I want to congratulate every one of you guys because everybody chipped in. Now listen, it's a long journey, isn't it? Don't peak too soon, all right? Not yet. We got a long way to go. We're going to get better every week. You know what? You know why I can tell we're getting better? Because we won a game and we're feeling a little bit, yeah, I wish we could have played better, right? We're getting spoiled. Maybe we are getting better. I think we are. There was no doubt about the improvement of quarterback Jeff Garcia. In his first full year as a starter, he eclipsed the 49ers passing records for yards and completions in a single season, earning a trip to his first Pro Bowl. Like his predecessors, Garcia showed the intangibles that distinguish greatness. He also knew the key to success was getting the ball to the NFL's all-time leading receiver, Jerry Rice. On third down, receivers Ty Streets and J.J. Stokes combined to move the chains 36 times. With a career-high 97 catches, Terrell Owens emerged as one of the NFL's elite receivers. But what he did after the catch separated him from the competition.
His 13 receiving touchdowns ranked third in the NFL and earned him first team all pro honors. And Owens takes it to the 20, 15, 10, 5, and the end zone! Touchdown 49ers! He's some get some West shoes right here. These are some get some West shoes. The only way they're gonna stop me is to get these shoes off me. The 49ers learned that it's hard to get somewhere playing catch up. Despite fourth quarter comebacks against Oakland and Green Bay, San Francisco would lose each game on the final play. Gannon goes back to throw. He's got an open receiver. Tim Brown, Raiders win. Big mistake by the 49ers on defense. The pick is up, and it is good. The last gas for the Niners has just been expired. Disappointing losses can tear a team apart or pull it together. Against Kansas City in week 11, the 49ers rallied around a common goal. Get ahead and stay ahead. In the first half, San Francisco would score three unanswered touchdowns. Garcia on a bootleg. He'll roll over to the left side into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. With a 21-point lead, the defense went to work. Defensive tackles Bryant Young and Brenson Buckner mixed up their scheme and then shook up Chiefs quarterback Alvis Gerback to the tune of three sacks. The constant pressure resulted in Kansas City miscues. Throws downfield, that's intercepted. Picked off by Bronson. So Zach Bronson taking advantage of uh, good pressure for Bryant Young. The 49ers held the Chiefs to a season low 50 yards rushing and held on to a victory that snapped a five-game losing streak. All season, the 49ers offense had been a juggernaut, but against the division rival Falcons, Jerry Rice and company were caught in a stalemate with the Atlanta defense. Come on, Jerry, gotta make that catch, babe, come on. In the second half, the 49ers clung to a three-point lead, courtesy of two Wade Ritchie field goals. The offense had carried the team for long enough. The front four applied the pressure. Chandler goes back to throw. He's going to get it again. He's dropped by Brenton Buckner. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. And rookie cornerback Jason Webster big supplied play, big play. the big play. Chandler's big break back drop. Passes to the right flat. It is picked. It is picked. Webster's going to go. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, 49ers. Jason Webster. There we go, D. There we go. So another strong effort. And what a thrill it has to be for this defense to hold a team without a touchdown. After allowing only 13 points in two weeks, the 49ers were doing something no one thought they could, winning with defense. Oh, Jason Webster, touchdown! In the 2000 draft, the 49ers acquired two cornerstones for the future. Defensive backs Jason Webster and Ahmed Plummer improved with each minute of experience. Solidifying the secondary was hard-hitting safety Lance Schulters, who led the defensive backfield with 90 tackles. Up front, number 97 Bryant Young led the defense with nine and a half sacks. After a season-ending injury to tackle Junior Bryant in week three, Brentson Buckner filled his big shoes with big numbers, tallying a career-high 61 tackles and seven sacks. Rookie defensive end John Engelberger would add three sacks from his position at right end. In the middle, linebacker Winfred Tubbs led the team in tackles and veteran savvy. Playing alongside Tubbs was rookie Julian Peterson, number 98. With four sacks and two interceptions, he showed the big play ability that will have offenses game planning for him in the future. But the role model for this young defense was Iron Man Ken Norton, who hasn't missed a regular season game since 1990. Looking good, baby, looking good. Looking good, feeling good. Against the Chargers, Norton led by example. Delivering physical punishment 
and verbal reinforcement. Hey, why you in there? Why you in there? The starter must be sick. The starter must be feeling good. He got the flu? But you know, I'm the son of Mandingo. Hey, I'm the son of Mandingo. But when the offense failed to move the ball in the first quarter, the defense would have its newfound confidence put to the test. And Lee for the draw to Fletcher, who slants, takes a counter, goes to the right side, and into the end zone. Touchdown, San Diego. You kidding me? Fletcher rushed through us like that for a touchdown. That's unbelievable. We're not letting that happen. You understand what I'm saying? Now let's get off our ball, let's get off our blocks. Let's try to stand in some people. It's in us. We're on our heels right now. Let's be better than that. I'll be better than that, you'll be better than that. Let's get it done. Everybody get in the car? Is there any problem in the back with the car? Any problem in the front? They getting too damn much then. That's too damn much. All right, they sorry. You got seven points. You see our offense ain't doing it. That's all they can get. If ain't no problem with the cars, there's no excuse for them moving the ball. Let's go. Let's go. The pounding put on Charger quarterback Ryan Lee resulted in four errant passes. Safety Zach Bronson and Monty Montgomery stole two apiece. With his second theft, Montgomery made a clean getaway. He throws it to Montgomery. Montgomery interception, touchdown, San Francisco. It'll be a 45-yarder. With San Diego stopped in their tracks, fullback Fred Beasley bowled over the goal line to start an offensive landslide. To Beasley, he pushes his way over left guard. He should be there. Touchdown, 49ers. Hey, Beasley, you want to stop him, baby? You know what I'm saying? They can't stop it. They can only hope to contain it. Garcia, under some pressure, steps up and throws to the goal line. Touchdown, Jerry Rice. In the second quarter, Jeff Garcia would lead the team to three straight scores and revive a San Francisco classic. Look at that, Good job. On the flat, the touchdown. You've been doing that for 15 years. Jeff rolls to his right, throws to the goal line, caught, touchdown, Jerry Ross. Oh, I told you it was going to work. I told you it was going to work. I love that play. I love that play. A play that if you're a 49er fan, you've seen a hundred times over the years. San Francisco posted a season-high 45 points, and with their third straight victory, showed a glimmer of that old 49ers championship swagger. In Week 16 against the Chicago Bears, Jerry Rice would play his final home game in a golden helmet. 16 years, man. Talk to me, Been in the house like on Sundays. Right. No other place I'd rather be right hey, now. Hey. Oh man, I love it. Ah. And on his big day, Rice would inspire this team to play at a new level. Let's go, let's go, let's bring it up. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's hey, man. Let's go. Hey, let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. One is on three. One, two, three. Nine. Fittingly, Rice caught the first pass of the game as Jeff Garcia led the offense to the end zone on the opening drive. Play fake, goes back to throw, throws it into the end zone! Did he hang on yet? Greg Clark, touchdown, 49ers! The 49ers defense treated the Bears to an afternoon of three and outs at 3Com Park. Holding the Bears to just 104 total yards, Jim Mora's unit posted their first shutout of the season. After the opening drive, Rice passed the torch to Terrell Owens. Pump fake, it throws way down the right side. Owens catches it into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. They say Randy Moss missed the clutch. <laughs> They're about to take another look. A1 on a mission. 13 catches today already for Terrell Owens. 8-1's quest was to capture one of the only receiving records not held by number 80. And so, Owens creating a new record every time he catches the ball now. With 20 catches in a game, Owens shattered the previous mark held by Rams receiver Tom Fears for more than a half century. After a season of struggle, the 49ers had played the near-perfect game. And it was the perfect time for Jerry Rice to take a final bow. 
This is the reason why I play this game. I play this game because of you guys. You guys make this possible for me. And these young guys right here, they're going to be good next year. They're going to fight through this. They're going to they're gonna come back and they're going to be stronger next year. I think it's time for me to go. But San Francisco, I always love you guys, okay? You guys are number one for me, okay? I hope you feel like I do right now. There's so, there's so many things, there's so many great things that happened today that have been happening over the years. This is an NFL record that stood for, I don't know, since 1950, T.O., 1950. 20, 20 touches in one game. T.O., wow. Is that Bobby Halfley? For, this is not for today, this is not for anything. This is for just because, because you're Jerry Rice. And everything that you've done for pro football and high school football and athletics and humanity and everything, every come here. Oh. In 2000, the 49ers said goodbye to Bay Area heroes and an era of excellence that has set a standard for this city and its franchise. And it just looked like that all burst and those great glory days were back on that one. As the new millennium dawns in San Francisco, a new generation of heroes is rising. And this season, they faced each trial with grit and resolve and forged their own place in the 49er tradition. With an offense that wrote a new chapter in the 49ers record books, an aggressive young defense with boundless horizons. Let's get some points! And a coach who knows that the past is merely prologue to the future. This team is poised to scale the heights of the NFC Western Division and uphold San Francisco's golden standard. Makes a break, makes another, cuts to his left, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers! Look for that connection for many years to come, Garcia to Owens. I'm telling you, folks, next year, get ready. We're going to have some fun. In week 16, the 49ers defense, led by rookie Julian Peterson, earned their first shutout of the season against the Chicago Bears. Quarterback Jeff Garcia threw for over 400 yards, connecting with wide receiver Terrell Owens for an NFL record 20 receptions. Touchdown, 49ers! You have to see this guy to believe it.